Good morning, countrymen and women. Indeed, uh, I'm sure most of us across the country have continued to experience this uh, road shedding. And uh, most of us are quite disappointed with the manner in which our national electricity supplier, which is uh, Zesco, is handling this situation. And uh, for us, uh, as Patriots for Economic Progress, I think this doesn't come as a major surprise. Since the inauguration of President Hakainde Ichirema, we have seen that it has been disaster after disaster in terms of how he has been handling national affairs. Now, you must understand that the position of Republican president is a very critical position. It requires someone to actually perform to the expectations of the people so that national affairs can be properly managed. To the extent that we have someone who is occupying the position of Republican president who is not able to do the job, then the entire country suffers. And that is the reason why, for us, we have uh, decided to call upon Mr. Hakainde Ichirema, in his capacity as president of the Republic of Zambia, to resign his position as Republican president so that other people can get on board and do the job that he has clearly failed to do. You must remember that this issue of road shedding is affecting largely people in the urban areas. People in the line of rail, those are the people who are most badly hit. But even people in rural areas were very badly hit not so long ago due to the failure by President Hakainde Ichirema's government to deliver farming inputs on time. So we have two major catastrophes that have struck this country within a period of uh, two months. That is the failure to distribute farming inputs which has affected the majority of our rural areas. And then we have this current uh, catastrophe, which is prolonged road shedding, which has essentially brought the lives of the Zambian people in urban areas to a complete standstill. These are two major fundamental failures. And uh, so far, in terms of solutions, the president is not offering any tangible solutions. Yesterday or the other day, he went to visit Kaliba Dam, he went to visit uh, Mamba Koreares, and he took some uh, group photographs, but nothing tangible was presented to the Zambian people in terms of what the immediate solution to this problem is going to be. So it is very clear, it is very clear that Mr. Haka Ichirema has failed to do his job as a Republican president. And in any position, if you fail to do your job, the natural thing to do is to resign. The natural thing to do when you fail to do your job is to resign. You must remember that uh, across the country, across the world, we have had people who failed to do their jobs and who, who had to resign. Take, for instance, in the United Kingdom, we had Liz Truss, who was erected into office as Prime Minister of Britain. And she presented a financial turnaround plan, which later on turned out to be catastrophic. And the honorable thing that Liz Truss had to do was to resign, was to resign her position as prime minister of the United Kingdom so that someone else with better ideas can be brought on board to do the job. So President Nagayende Chirema has evidently failed to properly run the affairs of this country. And the natural thing, the decent thing that President Haga Inde Ichirema must do is to resign his position so that another person can take over the mantle of being president of the Republic of Zambia and properly run the affairs of this country. And you must remember, countrymen and women, that in all these failures by President Haga Inde Ichirema, whether it is failure to deliver farming inputs on time, where Vantu Makomboni, Ma Virejumu, they were sharing my medaya fertilizer, sharing a medal of fertilizer, you know, uh, or it is the prolonged road shedding. We have not heard of any single apology coming from President Hakainde Ichirema to the Zambian people. President Hakainde Ichirema did not 
apologize for failure to deliver farming inputs on time up to this day. President Hagainde HM has not apologized to the Zambian people for this continued road shedding. He has not apologized. So we have an individual in State House who is failing to do his job, whose main job is just to talk and give promises. And yet, when he, he creates a catastrophe, which is adversely affecting the Zambian people, he is unable to apologize. Now, you must remember, countrymen and women, that the ability to apologize signifies that someone has taken responsibility for a particular mistake. When you apologize, it means that you have acknowledged that you have done something wrong, which you need to rectify. If you have not apologized, it means that in your mind, you have not done anything wrong. And for as long as you believe that in your mind you have not done anything wrong, then you are unlikely to change. You are unlikely to change for the better. So we have a president who continues making blunder after blunder after blunder after blunder. But in the midst of all these blunders, he is unable to apologize to the Zambian people. He is unable to tell the Zambian people that I'm sorry, I delivered farming inputs late. I'm sorry, I was not able to deliver the promised six bags of fertilizer on time. I'm sorry, I'm creating this road shedding for a prolonged period of half of the day. And yet a month ago, I had told you that road shedding had come to an end. President Haga Indeichirema, not so long ago, told the Zambian people that road shedding was a thing of the past that he had achieved that milestone. And a month later, he turned around and said, you are going to have 12 hours of road shedding, which is half of the day. So when you have a leader who makes such a blunder, the expectation from the Zambian people is that he will come to the people, he will acknowledge the problem that we made a mistake somewhere as a government, and we are sorry. We are sorry, Zambians, we made a mistake in our calculations, and now it has turned out that you have road shedding. That is what a decent, responsible person is supposed to do in his capacity as Republican president. But we have seen that President Hagaende Ichirema is very mute. He's very mute on this issue, which means, in our view, he is taking the Zambian people for granted. He is taking for the Zambian people for granted. He feels that whether there is road shedding or not, whether farming inputs are delivered on time or not, the Zambian people will still give him their unconditional support. It should never be like that, fellow countrymen and women. It should never be like that. Any person who occupies the position of Republican president has a duty and responsibility to deliver to the expectations of the people. And here, we are not talking about exceptional um, uh, performance, no. We are just talking about basic performance. We are talking about someone being able to deliver electricity to the people so that the people can do their jobs. If Haka Inde Ichirema is failing to do that simple job and he is failing to put on the table a tangible plan of action of how he is going to end road shedding, then he has no business continuing being in State House. He has no business continuing being in State House. It means that he is not useful to the Zambian people. And when someone is not useful, it means that they are useless. So we have a president in this country who is useless, who is failing to do his basic duties. And yet you and I, countrymen and women, we continue to fund his lifestyle. We continue to buy fuel for his motorcade, which has to move from state house to community house every day. We continue to fund his foreign trips. And yet on his side, he's failing to do his basic job. He's failing to discharge his basic responsibilities. We have someone in state house who is not useful to the people of this country. We have a president in state house who is useless. So the question then becomes, what is the point of continuing to keep 
a useless president in state house, a president who cannot solve the basic problems of the Zambian people, a president who cannot uh, give hope to the Zambian people in terms of when and how the problem of load shedding is going to be resolved. The president was given an opportunity to address the nation on the issue of road shedding. He is talking about traveling to Abu Dhabi to go and uh, uh, attract investors to come and invest in the energy sector of Zambia. Is that an immediate solution to, that, to the problem at hand? We have an urgent problem of road shedding, which cannot be resolved in the next 10 years or 15 years. That is too far. We need immediate solutions. We need immediate solutions to the problem of road shedding. People need to make a living out of their lives. Without electricity, people are not able to make a living. So you can clearly see there, countrymen and women, that there is a total disconnect between President Hakainde Ichirema's mindset and the problems that this country faces. When we have a problem of continued road shedding, his solution is that he will travel to Abu Dhabi to go and attract investment into the energy sector. When is that going to materialize? Your investment is Zambia. Kuti Malaiti road shedding is So you can see that till in a president Mofesi, Zeru Zake, Nakuganza Kwake, Siviri in tandem with him a problem yameneali popano paziko. If my problem is many areas, Paziko Pano requires immediate solutions. President Agayne Ichirem was supposed to give us solutions which should be implemented in the next two, three days, maximum one week. Maximum one week. Not that I'm going to travel to Abu Dhabi to go and attract investment for people to come and invest in our energy sector. That is not a solution to the problem at hand. It is not a solution. And even the other problem, another problem which was there, which is the problem of non-delivery of farming inputs. Kwa mene wa antuwenzo sharing saka imozi ya fertilizer wa antu age, vanga wa na fertilizer mameda. You know what President Akainde Shirema solution was? He was saying, no, we are going to do better next year. Yes, you can do better next year. But what about this problem this year? Ya mene iliko problem where people are not going to be able to harvest enough food. What is the solution? You as president. So clearly, President Ichirema is disconnected. President Ichirema is disconnected to the problems facing this nation. President Ichirema is not in connection with the, the challenges of the Zambian people. He is failing to connect na mavuto ya wantu. So President Ngatazaka sorting a problem yama ya wantu ya menewa facing ama Zambians. Afunika are connected to my problems here. I should understand my problem. But my problem, I'm not facing around to my problem branch. How can I resolve those problems? Not a president who is disconnected to the problems which the people are facing. When we come back, no road shedding in Chilamo. Twelve hours. I talk exactly as I am now. Twelve hours road shedding. But it's a much touchy. Malaiti, Yabuera, zero, zero, zero one. Yeah, end zero five. Then you are wearing foot eighteen hours. You are in the zero one. Is that the solution? Is that the solution? Is that the solution? It's not a solution to the problems and challenges the Zambian people are facing. So we have a president in office who has clearly failed to deliver to discharge his basic responsibilities. And when a person fails to do their job, it means that they are useless in that position. So we have a useless president occupying state house. And the question should be, why should he continue occupying state house when he cannot do his job? What is the point of having a president who cannot do his job and he continues to occupy state house? He's supposed to vacate state house so that mu state house muja we put another person who can do the job and do it properly. President Akainde Ichirema has got no moral right to continue being in state house. He has no moral right to continue being driven in those luxurious vehicles in that motorcade. He has no moral right when he is failing to do his job. He has no moral right whatsoever.
He has no moral right to continue doing and enjoying the presidency when he is failing to discharge the basic responsibilities that come with being a president. He has no moral right whatsoever. That is why he needs to resign and resign immediately. The reason that he needs to resign, there are 10 reasons basically. There are 10 reasons why Hakainde Ichirema must resign immediately. The first reason is that he is useless. That is reason number one. He is a useless president. Reason number two, why he needs to go, why he must leave office, is because he is not useful. He is not useful at all. The third reason why he must go is because he is useless. Again, he is useless for the second time. The fourth reason why he must go is that he is not useful again for the second time. The third, the fifth reason, number five reason why Hakain the Afun Koshita resigned as president is because he is useless for the third time. Third time useless. He is not able to do his job. He is useless. Number five, number six, he is useless again. He is useless. He is not useful to the people of this country. He is not useful. He is useless. So he must go. Number eight, again, he is useless. He is useless. Completely useless. Number eight reason. Number nine, he is very, very useless. He is not useful to this country. Not at all. He must go. He is not useful at all. He is useless. Very useless. Number ten uh, reason why he must go is that he, he is totally, totally useless. He is not able to do his basic functions. Why should we keep a person in state house, we are funding Tim Gurira Vakudia Gunumba Kwakekuja, taxpayers Vam Gurira breakfast, Akudia, Akudia breakfast, Tim Gurira lunch, Akudia, Akudia lunch, Akudia lunch, Tim Gurira supper, Tim Gurira taxpayers of this country, Tim Gurira supper, every Akudia, fewer Tim Ikira Motoka, Tim Ikira Motoka, every day we get fuel for him, Tim Gurira fuel, Vovara Vamena Vara Masuti, Tim Gurira. Taxpayers of this country, Tim Gurira Masut, but Eve Kamuza Uti Iwe President Yaka in the Ichirema, do something for us, the people of this country. Tipase Marait, give us electricity so that we can work. Stipen Bandarama, we are not asking for a handout. Uh uh. Tipase Ndarama, tis seven zere. Tipase Ndarama, tis seven zere. Akangiwa, put Pasa Marait, and he's not giving us hope. So why should we have a useless president? Wamene tijesa, tijesa breakfast, tijesa lunch, tijesa supper, timpasa, timgurira vovara, timgurira masuti. And yet he is useless times 10. He is useless times 10. And yet he continues to occupy the office of president of the Republic of Zambia. He is useless. He needs to leave office. So that tikeko muntu inango, wamene, if the country sacrifices, if the taxpayers must sacrifice, at Tend to go to breakfast to your president. If you can ask the benefit, at go to the shito. At go to the shito. If you go to the president breakfast, at your breakfast, a cut a member, ya tukumuka, a cut a breakfast out of taxpayers of this country. A cut a breakfast, tam go to the. If you can ever in the office, at go to the shito. At go to the to the benefit of us, the Zambian people, us, the taxpayers who feed him. The taxpayers are making gurira breakfast to get a job. My taxpayers are making gurira lunch to get a job. Muzua, eh? Is my taxpayers are making gurira supper to get a job. Abone bwino. Afu ni kana eva kwenye kuhofisi presidenti. Abu ni shito yake. Sina zimu gurira timu gesa. Ai na eva mbovu zitu kumoka. Bata kwenye kuhofisi akangi wa kugurira nchito. Akangi wa kusiri za road shedding. This is the president who is This is a useless president. He must go. What is the point of you and I, countrymen and women, of keeping a useless president in office? Why should we keep a useless president in office? A president who is failing to end road shedding. What is the point? What is the point? There is no point. He must go. So that Kieseko Winango, Ngatini Mamutare Narumango, Naeve Kizawa Esako, Naeve Vakakangiwa Basvaende, or they should call for early elections. Let them call for early elections so that the people should vote again. And we see who the Zambian people can vote for. Otherwise, with regards to Mr. Hakainde Ichirema, 
He has no business to continue being in state house. He has no business to continue being in state house because he has failed to discharge his basic mandate. Nshito ya mkanga. Haka inde ichire manshito ya mkanga. Ukakangiwa wa nshito ufu ni kawashita resign. Notati, ungo kujia kuseni, ukujia vakujia, vaku gurira ma taxpayers breakfast free of charge. Ketesi of the Republic of Zambia. Vaku jiesa, wadia breakfast kuseni. Muzuwa, wadia breakfast, vaku jiesa. Mazuro, vaku jiesa, iwe ungo nyopora, bati, sufu na kugwira nchito ya mene wandu, wafu na kutuwa gwirire as president of the Republic of Zambia. Then what kind of a person are you? What kind of a person are you? You need to leave office immediately because you have failed to do your job. You have failed to end road shedding. People are suffering because they are failing to work. You understand? You can't just be wagwiririra, wagwiririra mpando, at no ndine president. Wagwiririra mpando, at no ndine president. But who can't wagwira nshito, yao president. Then what kind of a president are you? You need to vacate. That's it. So that when I'm going to and shit the job that you are failing to do. You can't say you are president, but you are failing to do your basic job. You are totally failing to do your basic job. Road shedding you want to, wakufa na njala manumba omu. Wama welding, wama chani, once a business ya emirira. Iwe ndepe uka mba tino, I'll go and engage my investors kwa Abu Dhabi, waka shito, waka boro shita invest in the energy sector. What kind of reasoning is that? You need to go. You need to pack and go. So I'm calling on President Haka Inde Ichirema to resign immediately. If he has any ounce of decency in him, he needs to resign. And the reasons for resigning are the 10 reasons that we have given. He is useless. He is useless. He is very useless. He is extremely useless. He is totally useless. And he is extremely useless. He needs to go. He has failed to do his job. He has failed to do his job. The Zambian people gave him a chance. And Zoriri Ajin and the person who presidents, the Zambian people listened to his cries. They gave him a job to be president of the Republic of Zambia. But ever since he came into office, it is disaster after disaster after disaster after disaster. And in each of those disasters, such to apologize. My name is Wabwanj. Wapanga mistake, but you can't apologize. You are failing to do your job. Upe pasa wantu mameda ya ya fertilizer, you are failing to apologize. Upe pasa wantu 12 hours road shedding. Even in 2015, at the highest level of road shedding in the previous government, stays on karana 12 hours of road shedding. Never, it has never happened. Eh? How can it be that one minute you are saying road shedding in Asira, which means water level, the same water level, and then two or three weeks later, okay, but no, we need it. Uh, maximum road shedding. Nishi manzi mudamu ya nasira buanji. How did the water finish in the dam within three weeks? Ana maboza. So he's not even a truthful person. Alipe chirungamo. Alipe chirungamo. Muntu angapange president even in in Sean Tembo. When you make me your president one day, I'll be I'll, I'll make a, a few mistakes here and there. But when I make a mistake, I'll come to you, the Zambian people, and say, Look, my people, I've made a mistake here. Going forward, this is how I will correct this mistake. Maonaka, kuribe president wamene sanga pange mistake. Each and every president that will sit in state house will make a mistake at some point. But the bottom line is that mufu nika muntu wa chirungamo. You need an honest person in his state house so that when they make a mistake, they should do acknowledge. They should acknowledge that I've made a mistake. They should go to the people and tell the people that I've made a mistake. I'm sorry. Going forward, this is how we are going to correct this mistake. That is what you need. An honest person in the position of President of the Republic of Zambia. What we have at the moment is not only a useless president, but also a dishonest president. A very dishonest president. Muntu Ali shameless. Someone who is shameless. Ali Ali Ben Sony. Ali na boza. Ero boza yake. Ali Ben Ayon Sony boza yake. We have a very dishonest president who is not only incompetent but to boza. Muntu or wapanga mistake in that you are You are telling the people the truth. You are being honest to the people. Then the people will understand. The people will understand to say no. Our president has made a mistake. 
on this particular matter. And this is how he intends to correct the mistake. Not to Amuntu, you, you make blunders, blunder after blunder. If it is not the farming input blunder, it is the road shedding blunder. You make blunder after blunder, but you are also dishonest. You are not Muntu Wachirungamo. Sindiwa Muntu Wachirungamo. You are a liar. You are a cheat. You understand? That is the challenge we have with the President Hakainde Ichirema. He is not only incompetent, but Alibe. Alibe Chirungamo. Some of no Kamba the inverse straight. Anna Maboza from one right to the other. No road shedding is because of water in the Kariba. How did the water level change in Kariba in three weeks? From uh, no road shedding, ending road shedding to 12 hours road shedding within three weeks. Manzi Yasira Banj, Yangasira Banj within three weeks. So you can tell that Uyu Muntwana Maboza, he is lying to the Zambian people. Alewe Pobufi. Alewe Pobufi. So we have a useless president in State House, but who is also a liar and a cheat. He has no business being in State House. The people of this country have got it. Um, no obligation to continue feeding Tikazim Gesa Eve Akudia State House Moja Akuta. But Mazambians, the taxpayers' money, Bam Gurira Matibo and every day Akudia Akuta. Akudia Akuta. Every day Akudia Akuta. But Safno Pasa Marait to the Zambian people, Kuti Naveve, Vakazi Sevenzela, Vakazi Yanaveve, Mazambians Vakutek. What kind of a leader is that? What kind of a leader is that? He's a totally useless president. We have a completely useless person occupying the position of Republican president in this country. And he must resign his position immediately. He must resign his position immediately. Talemanae, Talemanae. We've been very patient, but Talemanae, Kulipa Pereka. He's taking us nowhere because he's a useless person. He's not useful at all. Completely useless. Completely useless. He has the opportunity to do what is right to help the Zambian people come out of poverty. But he is pushing the Zambian people deeper and deeper into poverty. Our Ngenesa, our Fikira Munjara, Mazambians, our Fikira Munjara, our Fikira, our Kumbira Kamgodi, no, our Fikira Munjara. We can't have a president like that. He needs to go. And someone needs to tell him. And I have decided to be that person to tell him that, Haka Inde Ichirema, you must go. Because you are failing to do your job. You have failed to do your job. The Zambian people gave you an opportunity. You failed to do your job. You have failed to do your job. Go. You are a useless person. You are completely useless. You've got no business continuing being president of the Republic of Zambia. You are completely useless. You must go.